from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Delft University's Nuon Solar team from the Netherlands has clinched the 2014 Sassel Solar Challenge title. Ten solar-powered cars managed to complete the race, crossing the finish line at the end of the eight-day Pretoria to Cape Town race. Irma Fenter has the story. This year's Solar Challenge was a distance and not a speed race. Powered only by the sun, participants had to log as many kilometers as possible. Dominating the challenge from the start, the Nuon Solar Team clocked a total distance of 4,227.8 kilometers, nearly 1,500 kilometers more than their closest competitor. Coming in second, the Anadolu Solar Team from Turkey clocked a total distance of 2,733.1 kilometers. This was followed by a battle for third place, which, in the end, was secured by the team from the University of KwaZulu-Natal, with a distance of 2,418.3 kilometers covered. Following closely was the Northwest University, with a total distance of 2,360.6 kilometers. The University of Johannesburg's team came in fifth. This team received the 2014 Events Technology and Innovation Award. The UJ team built a smaller car with more advanced solar panels. However, this move failed to upset the Dutch world champs, who were race favourites from the start. Maragon Private School held her own against participating university teams. Breaking the record for the furthest distance travelled by a high school, the team came in sixth place with a total distance of 1,268.5 kilometres. Other news making headlines this week, DWT Pumps expects good sales growth for its electronic water pressure pumps. Pumps Motors and Electronic Systems manufacturer DWT Pumps Motors and Electronics has sold more than 500 EasyBox pump systems locally, with sales expected to increase owing to the system's ease of use and energy efficiency. DWT launched its range of Easy Pumps. General Manager Hein Boerter explains the advantages of the system. This is a very uh, a pressure, a very nice set for us. Uh, it's something uh, not similar in our market. Um, it's very unique, if I can put it in this way. Uh, we are the first pump manufacturers in the world that's got this product on the market. And we're actually very excited to introduce it into our market. Uh, we launched this product in uh, September last year, and we, we did actually very well up until today. Uh, there's close to about 500 units being sold so far and yeah, we are very enthusiastic to, to sell more and more each day. Um, what this set is actually is an electronic uh, pressure booster system for, for water. So, and if you look at the, the set, it doesn't really look like a pump. So that's the first thing that makes it so unique to, to the market. Um, normally uh, a booster set is quite uh, is running quite loud. Uh, if you look at this system, this system is very silent. It runs at 45 decibels. So you can just imagine uh, what you can do with this. Uh, people, uh, customers like guest houses, lodges, they need something that is running silent. And this is what we can provide for them. Uh, if you look, look at the residential areas, you can almost install this in your garage or you can install it in your, even in your bedroom if you want to go that far. So yeah, that is one of the main selling features for us. Um, the second thing that I want to mention is of course the, the energy saving. Um, it's variable speed drive, so it means uh, energy saving for us. And as you know, electricity are very expensive. So we are all trying to save wherever we can. Um, currently we've got units running in Johannesburg area that is on a 76% on a energy saving at this stage. And we don't actually go, have to go out and test it. The, the pump will tell it at all times to you. So you've got a specific menu where you can go in and you can actually go and look what is your, your energy consumption at all times. GWT will soon launch its range of easy tanks to complement its pumps range. For Crema Media, I'm Ilan Solomons, Pretoria. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.